on some different shit. I might just hit your bitch out walking the park. All right, so the final top 10 is finally dropped for the NFL Top 100. And if you know anything about this list, is ass. Like, it's... They rate these lists like they're playing Madden. This shit is ass. You got guys like Trayvon Diggs rated higher. And no disrespect to you, but you're not better than your brother. You're not better than Joey Bosa. You're not better than Nick Bosa. They got him rated higher than a couple guys. You know, he's good. He's good in coverage. But, you know, man, press. We know what Trayvon Diggs is. No disrespect to you. But at number 10, you got Travis Kelsey. I'm not mad at it. Travis Kelsey... He's a wide receiver in a tight end's body. He can't block for shit, but if you need a thousand yard season, he's gonna go get it. Uh, number nine, you got Jalen Ramsey. That's an all pro, all pro, pro bowler. That's a lockdown corner. He could have been even rated higher. He's on a stacked ass team, so of course, I think number nine is pretty good for Jalen. At number eight, you got the frog. I don't know why the hell he looks. Why does he look sick in this picture? All depressed and shit. Like out of all the pictures, but Patrick Mahomes at number eight. Last season, it wasn't okay. It wasn't. It wasn't one of his best. But last season, I would. I would have probably gave Patrick Mahomes uh, maybe like a top six, probably top six. I don't know if he's a top eight. Pa I think Patrick Mahomes is better than number eight. At number at number seven, you got Devonte Adams, solid receiver. You know they try to say they try to say he's Aaron Rodgers made, he's MVP made, but Devonte is gonna go get it no matter what. Nobody's guarding Devonte one on one. So if, for number seven, I don't think you can complain for that. It's Devonte. At number six, you got T.J. Watt. He should he could have been easily rated higher than this. We know what T.J. Watt is. Nobody's guarding T.J. Watt. Man to man, you gonna have to double team him, chop block him. You gonna have to pull his on his titty. You gonna have to pull on his helmet, face mask, hit him in the nuts, do whatever to stop T.J. Watt. Cause T.J. Watt, he's not you're not stopping him one on one. At number five, you got Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor easily the best running back last season. Derrick Henry got hurt. Uh, all the other running backs weren't as consistent. Jonathan Taylor, there's not much you could say about him. You know, he's just a bull, bull nose runner, head, head nose runner. You know, he's going straight up that hole. He's going to hit you with a juke move. He's not going down easily. He's not going down one on one. Cooper Cup, number four. Cooper Cup. I think this is a. I think this is solid for him. I don't think you should. I don't think Cooper Cup could really ask for much more. Uh, MVP from the Super Bowl. And, um, he's a dog. You know, we know Cooper Cup. He had, he really started getting recognition after this last year. But Cooper Cup, one of the best receivers in the league. I don't think you could be mad at number four. At number three, Aaron Rodgers. I don't see how you can kind of have Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, I, he got to go higher than number three. I'm not the one of the biggest Aaron Rodgers fans after he keeps losing every year in the playoffs. But Aaron Rodgers is back-to-back -back MVPs. Aaron Rodgers is... Mr. MVP, Aaron Rodgers is going to give you the prettiest ball down the field. He's going to make some of the smartest decisions. He's going to bring it. He's going to put his team in a position to win. He's been doing it for the last couple seasons. Playoff-wise, it's not ready off the playoffs, so we're not even going to speak about it. When it comes to regular season, you, you got to give Aaron Rodgers probably higher than top. top. Yeah, you got to give him higher than number three, I feel like. At number two, Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. Shit. What 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 is there to say about Aaron Donald? We know Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald is not is the best defensive player maybe ever. Some people say ever. I know for sure right now in the league he's the best in the league. Best defensive lineman doesn't matter. Better than corner. Better than safety. Better than the middle linebackers. Nobody's better than defense. Nobody's better than Aaron Donald when it comes to defense. Doesn't matter. You can put three motherfuckers on him. He's still gonna knock one of them off, and he's gonna take off your helmet and beat your ass with it. And we we seen it. Um, Tom Brady at number one. I did have a problem because Tom Brady, man, Tom Brady, I love you. You, you the goat. But damn, bro, you're not. You are not better than Pat Mahomes. You weren't better than Herbert. Uh, I don't know about Joe Burrow. Like Tom Brady is Tom Brady, and I, I think. Well, I heard that they that they judged this list off maybe because they thought he was retiring. If that was facts, I don't give a fuck. Like Tom, you're you're a goat, but you're not number one. Uh. You know, it's his revenge season this year. I can't give Tom Brady number one. I don't, I don't give a fuck. 45 years old. I don't care what he threw for, what he did. Like, what, I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Would you guys have put Tom Brady there? Would y'all put Tom Brady there? I wouldn't do it personally. I couldn't do it. But fuck. Maybe, maybe this year he could get number one again. This is final year. I feel like that's all it was. A little popularity contest type, contest type of thing. We know Tom Brady's not number one. But who would you guys put as your number one rated uh, quarterback? Let me know.